Hey, this is Doug from Confology.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use one of my favorite lead gen tools called ConvertBox and have all of the leads that you gather there go into my new favorite email marketing tool called Fluent CRM. So to get started, I open up ConvertBox here and I've got a new ConvertBox and I'm going to choose the center modal, but this will work with any of these options. And just to keep things simple, um, they give you a few options here to start off, but let's go ahead and uh, let's just choose a basic one. Um, let's just choose this default template here because it gives us a form. So let's say that we just wanted to have this simple contact form send the lead information that we gather into Fluent CRM. So let's first take a look at how we would connect that to Fluent CRM, and then we'll jump into Fluent CRM itself and take care of things on that end. So just select the form in ConvertBox and go to Form Settings, and the tab we're looking for at the top is called Integrations. Now, default integrations and conditional integrations can both work. Default integrations means that no matter what, when this form is submitted, it goes with this integration. Conditional integrations means that if you've set a specific thing, for example, um, if this person uh, fills out this form or clicks this button in my convert box, then send things to Fluent CRM or to any other integrations that I want. So just because it's a simple form, we're gonna use the default integration and we're going to choose an integration. And the integration we're going to use is called a webhook. Now the webhook um, is basically a URL that passes all of this data into Fluent CRM. So let's jump over to Fluent CRM and get our webhook URL for this convert box. So here we are in a fresh install of Fluent CRM. And where you wanna go is on the left, click on settings. And right here on the next level of menu options, we want to click on incoming webhooks and click create webhook. And now we're going to determine uh, the name of this and kind of where people get, go when they get added, like lists and tags and things like that. So we'll just call this our convert box test and we'll just send people into my main list and we'll tag them my test tag. Again, if this were your website and you had lists, for example, if these were uh, leads for a particular product or if this were a, a particular lead magnet, maybe you would tag them as being interested in a particular service or put them into a particular list for types of customers. And then on status, um, you want to click subscribed. Um, if you click pending, they're not going to actually be put into the list. But for this, we'll just tell that uh, tell Fluent CRM that anyone that gets sent through this system is subscribed to our site. So then you just click create there, and a couple things are going to happen. You're going to see a blank box here, and we have to save this first and finish uh, setting this up in order for us to get that URL. But let's take a look down here under our contact fields and our keys. So the key is the parameter that needs to be passed in order to validate and fill in the field here in Fluent CRM. For example, if we want to get our subscriber's first name, we have to make sure that we pass the key first underscore name to Fluent CRM, otherwise it won't know that that's the first name. And the same applies to everything from email to address, all this information. These are all the things that you can gather by default. These are default keys. Now, if you wanted to create more custom keys, you can do that. You can create custom fields, and then those custom fields can turn into custom keys and you can pass that data as well. So you can create as many options as you like, but for our demo here, we're just going to worry about passing the basic information. So we need first name and we're going to do email. I think that's all we'll pass into Fluent CRM right now. So we'll just leave this as default and go ahead and click update. And you'll see that it's generated for us a URL here. This right here is our webhook URL. Now I can select that, or I can also click the pencil, and it will show it right here now for us, rather than that empty box. So we can copy that here as well. And then we can go back into ConvertBox, and we can paste in our webhook, and you can click Send Test. That's going to verify that it works, and you'll see over here that it did say webhook test was sent. Now if I go back into my Fluent CRM site, and I go to Contacts, you'll see that the test from ConvertBox was sent. ConvertBox sent John Smith with the test webhook email. And you can see that what's really cool is that by default, the keys and the data sent by ConvertBox line up 
perfectly for a name and an email. Let's go ahead and click into this contact, and you'll see that it did, in fact, pair the first name, the last name, and the email address, and even the test phone number. So that's really cool. So let's go ahead now and jump back over to ConvertBox and click Add Integration. So now that webhook is set up. And if you wanted to, you could actually send more integration data. You could send this off to, maybe you had a secondary email service, maybe you had other things like that. Um, you can send all that information as well. And then when you're done, just click Save. And now on our particular form, you uh, note here that we did have first name, last name, phone number, and email. Everything is technically good to go. We can fill this out and it will be sent. So if you're just looking for a very basic way to use ConvertBox to send data to Fluent CRM, that's all there is to it. Uh, it's not tricky. You don't have to customize the keys. You don't have to make custom parameters. It just simply works. Now let's look at a slightly more robust way of integrating these two together. And let's say that we're creating a segmentation tool that people will select buttons and then they'll submit the form to send us their data. And we want to tag them based off the button choices that they made. So let's go into Fluent CRM and go to our contact section. And let's go to tags because I think that's how we're going to um, segment people in this particular uh, demo. But the same thing can work with lists and segments. But let's go with tags and let's create a new tag. And we'll give this tag a title. We'll call this um, we'll call this one freelancers and we'll create another tag and we'll call this small business owner. I know we're keeping it for this example, something that you might tag people that you're working with. And we'll create one more option and we'll call this one enterprise. So we kind of have three levels of people that we might make contact with on our website. And now, uh, now these tags are made, I'm going to go back into ConvertBox and I'm going to make a new ConvertBox and call it segmentation test. And we're going to put this into our sandbox tests. Now let's go ahead and instead choose a call out modal this time. And let's go ahead and choose the segmentation option because that seems uh, totally applicable to this demo. So we came up with those tags and let's come up with a way to get people to pass that data and to choose and convert box for us, which option they belong to. So for this demo, I'm going to keep this super simple and I'm just going to um, change these options to freelancer, small business and enterprise. Now this could very well have been a question, for example, which best represents you and they choose an option, or it could have been, um, how do you get most of your leads? And the freelancer might have said, oh, I get them on Upwork. And the small business owner might say through, um, you know, Google My Business. And the enterprise option might have been, oh, because we run Google ads and Facebook ads. So that might have been a way for you to kind of segment people based off of their readiness for maybe some of your services. But for our demo, let's go ahead and show how we can pass their choice of button onto our form and then how our form can send that data off to, to us. So we have a couple of options here. When I click on the button and I click button settings, we can decide what happens when that person clicks the button. Now this setting is important for this demo because we don't want to redirect to a URL. We actually just want to go to the next step. Um, in this particular form, if they choose this option, we're only gonna have one more step in our entire convert box and that's going to be the form. Um, but you can do a couple of things here. You could say a tracking script or a quiz score. Um, I'll go over that in another video where I show you how to use ConvertBox to create quiz funnels. Um, but this is good enough. We're just gonna leave it totally blank. Just go to the next step. And then for integrations, we actually don't need to apply anything on this particular button, but you could on this button um, choose other integrations that you had that were uh, applicable to buttons, but we don't need to do that. In fact, all we have to do is come into each of our buttons here and just make sure that it goes to the next step and we'll be all set. So let's choose all of these, go to next step and close that. Now we go to steps in convert box and we create a new one. So our first step could be, um, let's rename this to be our segmenta segmentation. And then let's add a new step and call this one form. Let's choose the new step. You can see it's blank here. Let's go to elements and watch how simple this is. Let's drag a form and there we go. Name and email. We could add more. We could put a YouTube video in here. We could put uh, an image, a timer, whatever we want, but let's keep it simple and have it be their name and their email. And 
all we have to do, like we did before, is go to Form Settings, and under Integrations, this time, instead of a default integration, I want to have a conditional integration. Now for the conditional integration, when this condition is met, a particular button selected is Freelancer, then I want to send data via webhook, and I want it to go to a very particular webhook URL. Now, here's where we have to go back into our Fluent CRM installation and set up a few things. So we made our tags, but now we need to make separate webhook URLs. So let's go to settings, incoming webhooks, and let's create a new webhook. And let's call this one Freelancer Leads. And sure, they can go onto our main list, but the key here is we want to tag them as a freelancer and then click create. Oh, I guess we have to say subscribed. There we go, create. So now, like I said, convert box takes care of everything else. We just hit done. And now we have our freelancer webhook URL that we can come back into convert box and fill up. And again, let's do a test. It'll say success. We come back in here and we go to our contacts list and you'll see that we have our same person, John Smith, but now when we go into John Smith, we can see that he has been tagged, as you can see here, a freelancer. Why? Because we sent a test under freelancers. So now let's go ahead and repeat this process by going to settings and incoming webhooks. And let's create a webhook here for each of our other ones. We'll call it small business leads. We'll also put them into our main list and we'll tag these ones as small business and subscribed. And then all we have to do is hit update. We're gonna create one more, call it enterprise. Great, they can go into our main list of subscribers and they are subscribed as well. And then update. So that's it, we're done on the Fluent CRM side. Let's just copy our webhook URL for small business. Come back in here, don't forget when you're done, click add integration and then we need to add two more conditional integrations. We did the freelancer option. If button selected is freelancer. Now we need to select if button selected is small business, then use a webhook and send it. And then one more, if button selected is enterprise, let's come back and get our last link here. Then webhook over to enterprise. So there you go. Now, based off of the button they chose in our convert box, we're going to add them into a very particular tag Influence CRM. That's awesome. Now we can come back to Fluent CRM and let's go ahead and go to automations. Now we can create a new automation. Let's call this one freelancer test. And let's go ahead and trigger it off of our CRM and a tag is applied Hit continue. So now we can run an automation that when somebody is tagged as a freelancer, which you saw we very easily did with ConvertBox, then we can trigger an automation. And this is the power of Fluent CRM. So if somebody is tagged as a freelancer in our leads, then we can create a fully automated email marketing, or email marketing automation. So we can come in here and say, great, when they're tagged, what I want to have happen is I want a custom email to go out or I want a sequence of emails, maybe one email a week that kind of keeps that lead warm, maybe introduces them to our business and our services. Maybe what happens is I send them a particular campaign that I've already created, or I wait a period of time. There's lots and lots of options that you can do, including um, benchmarks, right? If somebody is tagged as a freelancer, but then does other things on your website, perhaps clicks a link or does something else to get another tag applied, you could then in your automation move them into different automations, remove different tags. Um, and really this becomes just as robust or more robust than something like ActiveCampaign uh, and ConvertKit. So really awesome tool, really great way to integrate with ConvertBox and to allow you to create really awesome segmentation tools for your website. So that's gonna do it for this pretty simple overview of how to send people from ConvertBox into Fluent CRM. Um, but you can already tell it's actually really, really powerful and something that you can implement on your website to start segmenting your leads and running automated marketing funnels. 
So if you have any questions about ConvertBox or Fluent CRM and getting them to work together, feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to help.